This episode of Some Word According to Ray Avery is sponsored by Get Mad and Lag, a new gaming show hosted by Jason Ortiz, coming soon on 27BLX. Now, I know what you may be thinking, this is the second time I'm coming to you guys from what seems to be my room. And, you know, obviously it's, things can be a little bit different, lighting, sound, visual wise, but I had to adapt. I, I had to really adapt to my surroundings, to the situations, to what is happening in my day-to-day -day life. Now, speaking of adapting or adaptations, adaptations show up in every form of entertainment. But for some weird reason, movie adaptations always seems to be a hit or miss, especially when they adapt from a book or well, a video game. And that usually is because the studios behind these films tend to blow millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, on an ensemble cast or all that cool special effects that, well, we all like. And spending all those millions of hundreds of millions of dollars on those two things, they tend to forget about well, what makes the book or the video game special, the, the story. Now, I know what you may be thinking, oh, I'm talking about film, but why am I also mentioning video games? Well, that's because over the past couple years, video games have become a staple in the entertainment industry. So much so that a game that we all know, GTA 5, which came out from, well, which came out eight years from today, or this year, was the most successful entertainment product of all time five years after its release in spring of 2018. Now while we still may be waiting for GTA 6 to come out, there's no doubt that video games have been given movie industry a run for their money for the last 10 years. Not only in the financing world, but in the storytelling world. Video games take a different approach to storytelling by fully immersing well, the, the, the gamer or the player into that world. I kid you not, there's been countless of times that I played one of my favorite games of all time, Red Dead Redemption 2, and almost cried. And don't get me started on the book adaptations. There's been thousands of those, and sadly, uh, about a hundred of them are generally good. Now, if you really want to dive into, well, books, if you want to count comic books and graphic novels as books, Disney and Warner Bros. have been, well, fulfilling the adaptations for the last couple of years. The MCU, as of writing this, has not one Rotten Tomato. In fact, their lowest, well, tomato is Thor The Dark World at 66%, and their highest is Black Panther at 96%. Not to mention the remarkable $22.5 billion that the MCU has made as a series and counting to date. But besides all the billions of dollars in the successful adaptations, there's too many damn failed adaptations. And here's why I believe so. When you're up against a diehard world like we are today, opinions always seem to arise. Some people may like ketchup on their hot dog. Some people may like mustard on their hot dog. But what tends to happen when you're working with film is that the director or screenwriter in charge of that films wants to take a different approach on how to portray that film, on how to portray that story that you know you guys love, whether it's in books or video games. They may very well like relish on their hot dogs. This will undoubtedly stir some frustrations in the two other groups, but sometimes relish may actually have a better story. Now, will it be a box office success? I don't know. Will it have a 99% on Rotten Tomatoes? At this point, I really don't know. Like I said, they gave Black Panther a 96% and in my eyes is 80%. But the point I'm making here is adaptations or adapting 
takes time. It took me a while to come up with this setup of, you know, this episode of Some More to Avery, as well as last week, with a lot of behind the scenes stuff that will be coming to you guys on it, what it took to create that episode. And I kid you not, it's not an easy task to kind of go from a studio to a bedroom and, you know, give you this quality content. To adapt means to modify, to make something comfortable for a new purpose. Meaning it doesn't have to be the same, whether it's the lighting, the sound, the visuals, and it doesn't have to be ketchup or mustard. It could very well just be plain. And as much as we humans want different things, we are also very comfortable with things staying the same. And it's not until we are forced out of something that puts us under pressure, then we run, then we, re we, we scatter. But my question to you is why run when we could adapt to something new? The new world we live in today is so new ideas, new thoughts, but when, it even, when that new idea even opposes the current idea, we rebel, we run away, instead of taking it into consideration and possibly learning from that new idea, possibly learning from the adaptations. Adaptations, whether it's in film or in everyday life, is important. And honestly, it will always be a work in progress. But honestly, that's just some world, according to me.